After several hundred years, the great monster Baphomet has captured enough souls to open the gates of the underworld called Tartarus. Baphomet will soon release the four knights. Each one feared even by the most powerful monsters in the underworld. Wow, that was quick. Baphomet knows that the end of mankind is here. Well, that was quick. All right, first and foremost, uh, let's see, can I, cool. I can't play this with the controller. I could put this in full screen. Uh, I'll have sidebars on. I'm pretty sure this thing's in basic four by three to begin with. Let's turn down the soundtracks, or turn up the music, turn down the sound effects a little bit. The bleepity bloops. I, I guess I grew up with this era, but I never really liked the bleepity bloops. Anyway, uh, so hello and welcome to Knights of Tartarus. So. I started with Hello, that's a weird one. Anyway, uh, it's a solo dev, super old school RPG. Uh, and apparently it came out back in September, I had no idea. Straight up never heard of it, and then the developer reached out recently. And uh, apparently it's an RPG where you like learn most of your moves from... Uh, from... Like, the enemies you fight? Which I think is kind of interesting, and honestly, I don't know. It's kind of fun to load up something intentionally retro every once in a while just to see how it goes. This is probably going to be a let's try until the game comes out, and if I really like it, we'll come back to it later. So what is our name? Enter your name. Well, you know what? I gotta rip my boy a, uh, a name. So, there we go. And do we want to be a fighter or a mage? I always go fighter. So let's go mage. Name your dark side. You know, that almost works. Imana. Eman. No, let's not do that. Darker name. Dark name. Uh, Batman. No. Uh, shoot. If I have to have a dark side. Oh, okay. We can go back. So what are we going to be, dude? Okay, I got it. So what is our name? Our name is Dude. We are a mage. What is our dark side? The backwards of Dude. There we go. That's not going to get confusing at all. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow. This really is, like, old-school Zelda. Uh, I've been playing Link to the Past, and the UI looks uh, more modern than this. I could have saved them. <laughs> he's just lamenting the flowers that he's trampling. Ah, all these flowers. Maybe mushrooms. I'm not really sure. If only you were stronger to avoid stepping on all of the flowers. Oh, no. I'm being attacked by a, a stump thing. All right, so I'm a mage. You don't have any spells. Well, poops. All right, time to hit the stump. Boom. Stump takes four damage. Stump attacks. Dude. Dude has taken two damage. Oh, man. This, this is delightfully old school. I like the, uh, the weird creature design, though. Like, I mean, obviously, it's a fairly traditional, just, like, stump monster. I was a little worried that it would... Oh, stump surrenders. That's a different one. Stump gives you wood. Okay, so I turned the text on fast. And I don't think I should do that. Uh, maybe? We'll see. Oh, okay. That reset the uh, full screen size. That's strange. So spell, nothing. Skill. Oh, here we go. So we get skill points. So we can put them into mage, saint, sentry, and rogue. Spell drop rate is higher, mana cost is reduced by half, spells may transform enemies, spell slots are doubled, all spells are enhanced. Saint. Resistance to burn and poison, resistance to debuffs, chance to confuse magic users, magic damage restores MP, restore HP and MP in battle. Rogue. Run chances greater, chance to surprise foes, increased evasion can't be slowed or paralyzed, gain counterattack. And Sentinel. Defense is greatly improved, crit is nullified. Uh, crit damage is nullified. Defend during surprise attack. Your defense stat can't be lowered. Attack damage raises defense. Interesting. Well, I got wood. Which sounds really weird. The item, item materials. Okay. And stats. So it looks like I'm largely just kind of a blank slate right now. I was hoping we'd be able to learn, like, hit person with log of wood or some... I want to play a game like that where, like, your character is just learning really arbitrary skills. And the more you use, the more you, like, figure out how to use them. So eventually you can just do 
uh, like logomancy or something where you're just caber tossing pe uh, people around. I don't know. If I just, huh? Enough! I'm tired of all this moping around. Who am I? I am you. Well, not anymore. Call me dude. You can stay in the forest, but the people need me before I leave. I, uh, the, before I leave, though, I want to test my strength. What? Dude wants to fight. Dude! I have nothing. Dude attacks. Dude! <laughs> I am not regretting this. Dude is strong against dude. Dude attacks dude. Oh god. Dude takes four damage. Why is he suddenly stronger than me? Run, you failed to escape. Dude attacks dude. The move is strong against dude. Dude takes 12 damage. Run, you failed to escape. Dude attacks dude. You died. Dude surrenders. You have lost the battle. Baphomet, you're next. Dude, are you alright? Ah. <sighs> You're fine. Let me pull you up. Monsters can be tough, eh? We all know you're working hard to become stronger. It wasn't a monster, you say? What? You split in two? What? You must have been hit in the head. You should head back to the town. I'll see you there. Man, I get that this movement is, like, intentionally jerky to, like, kind of... Uh... Well, to be purposefully old school. And I'm cool with that. Oh, because I fought the stump before. Now I can see its HP bar. Nice. I like it when games do that. I do wish that the HP bar was maybe a little bit more tastefully placed. Like... I don't know. It just doesn't quite uh, fit on... Like, it fits on the screen fine. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of open space on this UI where it could fit. You know, have HP bars at the bottom along the black or something, or who knows what. Okay, dude is level two, so our stats have gone up by one or two, kind of variably. And stump gives you wood. Oh, baby? Okay, can I, like, harvest mushrooms or anything? No, I can't. So we could wander around fighting things for a little while, but I want to learn spells. If I'm going to be a mage... Like, we should probably head for the town, unless it turns out that I'm doing the, the horribly, terribly wrong thing here. Guess we'll find out. There's a note posted on the door. Shop is closed. Owner is delivering weapons to the goblin tower. Why are you delivering weapons to the goblins? Hey, dude. You finally got here. I feel like I should give you the, give you this. Monster stone is added to your bag. My mother gave it to me. She said it would keep me safe from monsters. It's best if you carry this from now on. What? Items? Monster- Keystone. Use Monster Stone. You don't have any spells. What? Here you go! This is supposed to keep me safe, but you know what? I have a death wish! Have the stone! What? Woof. Man, this really is just Dragon Quest 1. Sometimes a man has to drink his problems away. Other times he just has to get drunk. Wise words. Tough times, huh? It's hard to cheer people up these days. I wish to host a card game to bring more happiness to the town. I was thinking Pokemon. Oh wait, can't say that. Uh, po poke man. There we go. We don't really have any cards, we're just gonna be poking each other. Hello, I am Hori. I study the effect of these boxes. According to my research, when these devices are activated, they create a checkpoint and stores all the information of the universe. Fascinating, isn't it? Wait, was that... your progress has been recorded. Okay, Sage's Forest, King's Castle. Well, I'm not a fan of Marner Keys, so let's go see the Sage. Maybe he can teach me about how to be a wizard. I'm trying to make an encyclopedia on monsters and their behavior. Please come back when it's ready. Many interesting books here. Crafting made simple. Some monsters will give you resources for crafting. Many interesting... Okay, the high defense mindset. Get hit and don't die guidebook. Using defend could save your life against a powerful foe. The world is yours. Explore the world, but beware of unfamiliar zones. I wonder if you can actually turbo level in the very beginning before the split and actually crush your rival and rival your dark side and see what that does. That'd almost be... that'd be kind of interesting. 
How to defeat monsters and make friends. Sounds like something you definitely need. 48 rules of RNG. Be a winner at life. Gain levels, a common sense approach. How to stop worrying about boss fights. This one might help you sleep at night. Wow. I... If you had handed me this game 20 years ago, I would have been like, yep, this is absolutely fit for the time. It's kind of incredible. I worry that monsters might smell my delicious meals. Maybe I should stop making them so delicious. No. Oh, I'd rather die than do that. Alright, I'm assuming they're gonna say no to me going to the sage. Sorry, dude, but this road is temporarily closed. No. Back in my day, we used to view our stats by pressing the space bar. Youngins don't know anything nowadays. Dude, do you need me to forge some weapons? Cool. Just give me the materials. Craft. Wood. Wood. Do you want to craft these items? It'll cost you 5G. Yes. Yikes, you don't have enough money. No! Lady, help me handle my wood! I'm too poor. Well, I guess we'll continue on until I have enough money to pay that woman to handle my wood. <laughs> I should stop saying these things. <laughs> Let's go give the king our wood. See if he if, see if he knows how to handle it. I'm just gonna talk to all the NPCs. I wish I was strong enough to fight monsters like you, dude. I keep having a dream of brave knights defeating four cyclops. What can it possibly mean? King Ralph refuses to send any more soldiers. It's a logical move at this point. My brother just gone missing. I want to go look for him, but the king says it's too dangerous. No one wants to go fight these monsters. I will go out there and destroy all of them myself. Oh, dude. You don't have to tell me anything. I knew this moment would come, and I can't stop you. But please, if you find our missing people, let us, let us know. Good luck, dude. Good luck, dude. I'm a little curious about... This moment that has come, I, I feel like there's supposed to be more dialogue with the king. Like, anything? He's just like, well, I knew you were going to leave at some point. Bye. So, what? Since when am I leaving? What? I, I just got ganked by myself in the woods, fought off two sentient stumps. Um, oh. Oh, did my controller run out of batteries? That's what happens. That's okay, I've got a spare! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright! That's okay, I've got keyboard and mouse! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh... Aw. Oh. Well, this is an interesting problem. Okay! Just had to recharge my batteries. I gotta get some spares, so... Well. Anywho! I don't remember what we were doing. Unfortunately, I had to more or less step away when my batteries charged. I've got a wireless Xbox One controller uh, to play games with because it's more comfortable. Uh, but unfortunately, I only have one set of batteries because I was like, eh, don't need to recharge this that often. And of course, that is the critical mistake as usual. And it's a slime. Wow, that slime looks done with life. Green slime. Or as I like to call it, Gurn slime. All right, Gurn. How you doing? He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem to be very good against me. Or anything. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be very good against life. I mean, look at that! That is the gaze of somebody that has given up on, on life forever. I won the battle. Wow. Wow, that was actually worth a decent amount of EXP, and it gave me two gold. Yeah, go figure. He's done with life. Dudes just come out of the woods and mug him left and right. I want to go check out the blacksmith. I don't know if we've got any, like, functional recipes. I, uh, I'm torn between, uh, you know, running around and trying to grind and see if we can get some, some basic resources and just continuing on. I mean, I guess realistically, we don't need to do, do a dang doodle. We can just, uh, we can just 
fight things. I mean, we've barely taken any damage. I think we go back up to full health every time we, uh, we level up. Oh, he used barrier. It's a nice special effect. Augmented its defenses. Oh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's special defense. Okay. Even on normal speed, the text goes by really fast. Oh, yeah, it's worth a decent amount of EXP. Okay. But he didn't give me money. You. Oh, let's get my mess out of there. I'm just gonna wander aimlessly. We'll find something. Uh, is this the right area? I don't know. Let's fight these Pokemon trainers. We can't fail the king. We have to find them. Oh. Looked all over this area. Nothing. Where could they be? Yep. Another stump. <laughs> Can you just imagine the noise this thing's probably making? It's just like... <laughs> like, that that's the only thing I can imagine uh, him making as he, like, approaches me, I guess. Like, how, does, how does a stump even attack you? Like, is it mobile? Does it shuffle along? Does it, like, get up on those those little roots and, like, skitter along the ground like the, uh, like the... The luggage from Discworld? Because that's actually kind of dis disconcerting uh, to think of. Sometimes the best move is to run. There are monsters that can't be beat. Remember that. What is this? What? I okay, there's just like a box thing. I feel like... I should go elsewhere. What is... It's like a Gamma Yoon. Foretells the future and attacks me. Ow. Alright. I've been warned to run. So let us run. And bail. I don't know where to heal. So monsters can crit me. That is probably really helpful to know. Unfortunately, I'm now in uh, extremely dire straits as I have no healing items. Let's go this direction and find out what's what's up. I mean, we should be able to beat this slime and level up. Come on, Gurn Slime! How much damage does it do? One. Okay, yeah, we're safe. Unlike the Gamma Yoon, the Gurn Slime is uh kind of weak. It's interesting that the monsters all surrender. Oh, interesting. So you don't heal to full. You just heal an amount. And we just gain some MP, which so far is useless because I have nothing to cast. This is usually why I'm kind of leery about mage classes in these games, because it's always just like, what is, how does spell work? How do I wizard? Interdasting question. What the? I am bird shot. Oh, thank you, bird creature. Ka! What? 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 Okay. Yeah, so you have to be facing in the direction you want to go, ish. Other the otherwise the bird's like no. No, thank you! Go away! <laughs> you get the drop. And... Run. Okay, never mind. We're good. We can fight this thing. Uh, Fairy Gone. It just, it looked a little... I, <laughs> I am resistant against kissing. <laughs> of course. Let's see. <laughs> it's because I'm a wizard. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I, I guess it's more of like a, a Japanese thing? But it's like if you're 
you know, single until you're 30 or something, you're straight up wizard. So the idea of my wizard character being resistant against kissing is somehow extremely <laughs> funny to me. Alright, um... Anyway. Also this bird. This bird is really funny to me. I'm just gonna wander aimlessly for a while. It's interesting this is, this is kind of doing, uh... I'm, I'm not exactly gonna call it, like, Legend of Zelda. Uh, style organization. I've been playing a bunch of Link to the Past recently, uh, which I've actually never played before, so it's kind of a fun experience. Uh, but the the like slight free roam aspect to it is actually really, really welcome. And I wish I saw like more games like that. And uh, so I guess I was actually watching AGDQ past week, and they had Final Fantasy IV uh, Free Enterprise. Which is like a full conversion mod that effectively just turns the entire game into a free-roaming RPG. And I'd never heard of that before, really. And I actually really like the idea or the sound of that. Because, like, who does that? I, I've, it's straight up just, like, not a thing. And so the idea of doing that someday is actually really, really attractive. Because, yeah, I would actually like to play a JRPG where... There's, there might be a plot, but the plot is all like side quests and stuff, and you're more or less just free to do whatever you want. Oh, I thought I was about to get attacked by a, uh, a mimic, but no, it's just a another Gurn slime who is ambushing me. But I'm really assuming I just stepped in it, and it's just like, ah, leave me alone. It's too early in the day, morning or night. I don't even care. is such a hilarious contrast to the slimes from Dragon Quest. Okay, so my HP is coming back. That's good. Hopefully I learn a healing spell at some point. And I get leather, leather greaves. Cool. Okay. Footwear. Okay, so three defense and three speed. Skill. Let's grab mage. Because we want spell drop rate being higher. I mean, honestly, most of these are pretty good. Unfortunately, we still don't have any spells. Maybe we can learn some? I'm not sure, but... It says spell drop rate, so maybe it's, uh... We learn spells from monsters we kill. Nothing I can do to that. Okay, this is actually kind of really charming. I might... <sighs> I actually really want to play more. Like... I grew up with games like this. Dragon Quest 1, Dragon Quest 2, uh, the Dragon Warrior, uh, Monsters games, uh, stuff like that, and it's actually, like, really charming, and I want to get more into the, like, the spellcrafting system. Uh, my one problem is with, like, early access RPGs and stuff like that, there's always a little bit of a, like, well, I kind of want to wait till the end, and I don't really know if this is a, this is one of those situations where the game is feature complete, they're just adding more content, you know, effectively a, a chapter system without specifically being chapters. Uh, I know, like, Temtem, for example, is kind of doing the same thing. Uh, obviously, that game has a lot more to it than just, you know, adding more content later on. But the early game is still, you know, fairly cohesive. I think that's where I came from? No, it's not. It's somewhere else. I'm just gonna wander around more. Gloomy swamps. Danger. Turn back now. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything more around here, so I, yeah, I'm just aimless wandering. It's my thing. Uh But I've I've actually really wanted to uh play like a super old school RPG. Uh, I was honestly probably going to pick up uh, Dragon Quest, and I think I might still do that before I go back to this one. It's kind of like, I, <laughs> I am torn. I'll, I'll have to ask the developer about this, because like, obviously if, if it's just like I get to the midway point and then have to stop because, yeah, there's no more content for a little while. Ooh, this looks like a good level. Wait, what? My attack went down? I'm going to take a screenshot of that and ask about it. <laughs> Because that seems wrong. I... I feel like it shouldn't do that. So this is a really affable bird. It is, it is down to, uh... 
Down to just take me everywhere. Either that or it's a different bird every time. Entirely possible. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Oh, I'm gonna have to get back to the save point, aren't I? Some kind of warp stone system would be kind of nice. You know, if you could, like, town portal or whatever. I know that's probably a little bit modern. But if you're gonna have, like, a save point system, eh. Then again, most people will sit down and play a game for longer than half an hour. It's just, like, I don't exactly want to, like, quit until I hit a save point, but I also don't know where the next save point's gonna be. I guess we'll find out as I go along. Rocky Falls, Goblin Tower, Sage Forest. We've got Goblin Tower up here. We've got an antidote. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. At least it looks like most of the enemies are, are still kind of the basic group. Yeah, I do less damage now. My attack actually went down. What? Either that or this slime is stronger, but, you know, I was doing seven damage for a little while. Eh, okay, maybe my attack didn't go down. Hard to say. I do like the battle music. It's catchy. Hopefully, hopefully the music changes over the course of this game. A little? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've been playing Link to the Past, and one thing I noticed, especially about, like, old school, especially very heavy MIDI style... Let's check Rocky Falls. Probably not a good idea to go in here. Uh, but one thing I noticed about, like, very heavy MIDI-based games... Catchy. Absolutely catchy. But repetitive. Ah. Okay. It looks like I've lost nothing. This is good. All right, let's uh let's go find that that lady that mushes items together. I'm assuming this guy is still done. Yeah, so don't go to the rock falls. At least luckily it looks like there's zero penalty for death. Uh at least not yet. Is this the right one? Oh no, this is like a school. Monsters can be mean, but some monsters can be friendly after a fight and teach you a spell. You can only carry three spells, though, unless you're special. Us humans are naturally strong against dragons, but we are weak against the dark element. All things are made up of seven elements. Earth, air, water, fire, dark, dragon, and human. Ah, yes. Let me look at the periodic table of elements. You've got a rock. It's just nothing, which I guess is air. Some fire. Uh, like a little human blob and, uh, some kind of dragon lump. Hmm. I'm so proud of them, they learn so fast. Every monster species has a special skill and knows its own set of spells. One thing common to all monsters is that in battle they're totally unpredictable. Righto. Alright, so I apparently missed the schoolhouse. Who are all taught about monsters and how to fight them? I have some confusions. Okay, that's still the bar. I want to see if I can mush two wood together and see if I can make some kind of stick. There we go. Otherwise, I might have to go back and fight more of those stump creatures. Okay. Craft. Wood. Wood. Say no. Craft. Wood. Meteorite. Okay, doesn't know what to do with this. Can we try something else? Okay. So... She won't build something unless... Okay, so she made us a wooden staff. Nice! I was worried about that for a second. So let's equip... Primary wooden staff. Attack 10... And... Spa spell attack, probably. Alright, let's go biff something with my staff. And then that'll be the end of it, I think. Oh, this is the castle. What am I doing? I will admit... Sprint shoes or something would be kind of nice for backtracking. Not that bad. Oh yeah, I was gonna say before I got killed by the Goblin Wizard, uh, MIDI music can, can be really catchy, but also very, very, almost painfully repetitive. It looks like it's not that big of a deal just because there's a lot of area variation. Um, but like, I'm gonna be honest, after years of listening to the Pokemon battle theme, 
I have gotten supremely tired of it. Uh, and so I'm always a little bit leery of that with, like, MIDI stuff. And so far, it's not a big deal. It really depends on how long this game is, I guess. Okay, I didn't actually go down here. Alright, Gurdon Slime! You get the staffening! Bammo! Yep, that's... that was worth it. I mean, it wouldn't have been that helpful against the, uh... That would not have been helpful at all against the Goblin Mage. I mean, obviously, if I can kill one of those suckers and take his Lightning Bolt, then we become maybe really powerful, but... Not anytime soon. Hopefully we get a spell at some point. Aha! And there's the treasure chest. I like the fact that there's a uh, crafting system for equipment. And it doesn't look like it takes too much. So defense 5, shield 10. Cool. I like the exploration. The sprites look... I mean... They look pretty nice. It'd be nice if the, uh, the fall kind of went into the river a little bit better. It's like a little bit of a... Um, uh, a sharp cutoff between the sprites, but I think that's just me. Uh, so, honestly, for a game that looks like it belongs on the Game Boy Color, this, I mean, this would have been phenomenal on the Game Boy Color, probably, if I had it. I'd be like, whoa! You learn spells from the monsters you fight? That's awesome! And, you know, more free exploration and stuff, unless, I don't know. I would have liked this on the Game Boy. And it looks nice, too. Like, for a solo project, this is pretty. Okay, so we're just kind of getting whatever. And it gives me wood. Mm. Thank you, stump thing. Alright, well, let's go save. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll come back to more of this. I'll have to ask the developer some questions. Because it seems neat. Like, it, this... <laughs> I don't... I don't usually touch indie RPGs, because almost all of them are just RPG Maker. You know, it's super obviously made using kind of... Maybe not a generic tile set or anything like that, but, like, they all look the same and they all feel the same. And admittedly, this feels the same as some of the games that I played when I was, like, a kid. But... It, that's still, like, way more interesting than, like, 90% of indie RPGs I run across. Because, yeah, m most of them... It just looked dime a dozen and it's kind of neat to see something that, like, isn't afraid to go way back. Anyway, your progress has been recorded. Cool. This has been fun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, either I will come back to this... I'll probably... Oh, we probably get a skill point every five levels. That's probably what's going on. Because, yeah, I got a skill point at level five. Yep. So, realistically, how many? Five? So, 25 is all spells are enhanced. 50, 100. So, at level 100, you'd have everything maxed out. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Well, anyway, uh, this has been Knights of Tartarus. If any of you guys want to pick it up, it's out on Steam. It's been out on Steam. Uh, it's how much? It's 13 bucks, which doesn't seem so bad. Uh, let's see. And it looks like it's pretty actively developed. It looks like one patch a month. Um, I'm just going to quickly take a look at some of these. Some extra songs. Oh, wait, no, no, not songs. That's a debuff that got nerfed from one of the bosses. It actually looks like you can go pretty far, too. Uh, let's see, what was the update back in December? So, two new maps, Crypt and Ice Lair and Tartarus. Uh, fourth major dungeon and a boss. So it looks like you can actually go pretty far in. I haven't seen if you can fight more than one monster at once. My bet is probably not. Yeah, it looks like you're only fighting one at a time. And the sprites look pretty good. Like, I actually really like the monster art they've gone with. They look, they look nice. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see. So I want to just take a look at the, uh, early access thing. So yeah, it's still missing new maps, monsters, puzzles, and also missing music animations and story. Uh, early access for six to eight months. Now this has been out in September. I'm assuming we're probably looking for a quarter two, quarter three full release, if we're lucky? I don't know. I, I usually don't look at this stuff, but I'm actually, like, looking forward to this coming out of Early Access so that I can actually do a series on it. And yeah, if it's one of those that it's feature complete up until you run out of content, then I'll probably actually just keep going for a little while. Probably slowly? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I guess with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I've said that, like, three times now, and I should probably keep to it.